one is probably suffering kind of half depression of these times, you know, and that's of course, I'll listen to a lot of moody music, which it resonates with how I feel. But I like to think music also has a purpose of escapism, of escaping from, from where you are, and that's just going to take you away to somewhere else for three minutes. ongoing crisis affected you? At home we were self-isolating for six weeks beginning of March and after a while that kind of isolation gets to you in a way and that's also a way to understand the the depth and the seriousness of the situation and I think everyone who's working with, with something creatively has the need more or less to, to still continue doing that music that's still something you can deliver online if you write good stuff you'll reach out for its very name has grown to an echo of your own when we postponed the first shows i thought a bit naively that we would be able to do them already in summer but the first shows that were already postponed, were postponed again. I miss it. Being on stage in this is a crazy experience and incredibly tense. But I, this is also gives me time to finish the album. I think I never recorded as much demos as I've done these two months. It's called Fieldworks, released an EP already last year. It's been more creative, enjoy the, the short Swedish summer. I started my Patreon. So in a way, I'm connecting with people who are interested in our music in other ways. So I commit there to do like a half an hour piece every month. On my Patreon, I do more kind of ambient improvisations. For now, I'm happy if I'm, if I'm doing something, if I'm writing more songs, um, and see what that leads to. Thank you for watching, hope to see you again.